and the Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Eric Oakes, welcome to the United States Army Training Center at Fort Jackson for the retirement review of one soldier and graduation of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, 165th Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Chiato. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we bow down before you with humility. We thank you because even in our failures and weaknesses, you extend your grace, mercy, love, and blessing. You have been with us and these great soldiers, especially during their rigorous training. You have granted them success and victory. Today is their day to be crowned and celebrate their achievement with their loved ones and friends. May you bless us all during this great me and memorable occasion. Our soldiers, their families, our leaders, and our great nation. As they soon to be great soldiers embark on their careers and start new chapters in life, give them a sense of purpose and hope. Remind them and all of us that in the shelter of the Most High, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. That your name is a strong tower and the righteous who run into it are safe. Help them to be strong and courageous. May no weapon fashioned against them prosper. If enable them to execute their duties with honor, integrity, and wisdom. We ask in the name of the almighty and ever-living God who is the creator and sustainer of all. Amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. This review is the last official formation in the career of one lifelong soldier and for our newest soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenges and difficulties that come with the life of a career soldier. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are justifiably proud of our retirees' lifelong dedication to our nation and are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field have chosen to join our Army ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band, under the command of CW3 Kevin Pick, graduating soldiers from Company Alpha, Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from companies Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected based on professional competence, leadership abilities, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. With the drill sergeant hat goes the most important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Philip Turner, who serves as the executive officer for the 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment. He and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Brian Forrester. On his left is Sergeant Major Edward Cummings, the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. Arms, 
battalion form. Triple AO. Or nothing. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Competence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeants coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and serve as examples to all. Sir, the colors and persons to be honored are present. Let the command. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the national anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all armed forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our national anthem is played. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the retirement of a lifelong soldier. All soldiers begin their journey by graduating from basic combat training. Over the years, there have been changes to how the Army conducts basic training. However, many things remain the same. It was during basic training that this soldier was first introduced to the Army values. It is where he learned the importance of teamwork and that the Army truly is a family. That sense of team and Army family is still embedded in what is done here today. Over 21 years ago, this soldier took the same oath to defend this nation that your loved ones on the field have taken. We salute this great soldier as they pass the torch of freedom along to the newest generation of soldiers, your loved ones standing on the field today. A certificate of appreciation from the President of the United States is presented to those retiring today. It reads, I extend to you my personal thanks and the sincere appreciation of our grateful nation for your contribution of honorable service to our country. You have helped maintain the security of the nation during critical times in its history with a devotion to duty and a spirit of sacrifice in keeping with the proud traditions of the military service. I trust that in the coming years you will maintain an active interest in the armed forces and the purpose for which you served. 
Those who follow in your footsteps will draw inspiration from your commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made to ensure the protection of our American freedoms. My best wishes to you for happiness and success in the future. At this time, Colonel Hutton and Sergeant Major Oaks will recognize our retiree for his service to the United States Army. Master Sergeant Adrian Bing, having served honorably for 21 years of service, is placed on the retirement list effective 30 November, 2023. Master Sergeant Bing entered active duty in Columbia, South Carolina, and will reside in, reside in South Carolina upon retirement. His fondest professional achievement has been helping others throughout their careers. The nation salutes Adrian Bing, Master Sergeant, United States Army, retired. Although newly retired, he will always be a part of our Army family. Thank you, Master Sergeant Bing, for your dedication. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants, who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, the drill sergeant of the cycle for 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, Drill Sergeant Tenario, will recite the drill sergeant creed. We ask that all drill sergeants, past and present, please stand for the reciting of the drill sergeant creed. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Forrester and Sergeant Major Cummings will now present the award. The outstanding drill sergeant of the cycle is Drill Sergeant Jonathan Tenorio from San Diego, California. The soldier leader of the cycle for Alpha Company is Private James Shelbourne from Queen Creek, Arizona.
The soldier of the cycle for Alpha Company is PV2 Brandall Hernandez from Dallas, Texas. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Katie Beaton from Pulaski, Wisconsin. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private Christopher Velasquez from Paramount, California. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is PV2 Trenton Crenshaw from Brownsburg, Indiana. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is PV2 Curtis Williams from St. Stephen, South Carolina. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Private First Class Leslie Zarate from Reno, Nevada. The soldier of the cycle for Delta Company is Specialist Adriana Capelles from Dorado, Puerto Rico. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private William Shearheart III from Castroville, Texas. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Skylar Harkness from Nine Mile Falls, Washington. The NCO of the cycle is Sergeant Velasco from Miami, Florida. The civilian of the cycle is Miss Michelle Chestnut from Columbia, South Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Brian Forster. Well, uh, good morning and welcome back to Fort Jackson and Hilton Field on this beautiful day. Colonel Price, Command Sergeant Major Oaks, Colonel Lutlau and Mrs. Lutlau, Command Sergeant Major Blyler, Command Sergeant Major Retired Johnson and family, and most importantly, families, friends, and supporters of 339 Infantry, the Bar Nothing Battalion. Thank you for being here today. A special day for the soldiers on the field and their friends and family. Let me give a special shout out to the 282nd Army Band. Thank you for the pride and professionalism you bring to events like this. For over 247 years, the United States has remained a free nation because of men and women willing and able to answer the nation's call. These are veterans like Master Sergeant Bing, whom we just honored this morning, who served in numerous assignments over uh, almost 22 years of service, including multiple deployments as a combat engineer to some of the most difficult spots in Iraq and Afghanistan. To all our veterans here today, past, present, Soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, guardians, and coast guardsmen, we thank you for your service and invite you to please stand if able to be recognized.
the, the heart and soul of the effort to produce the 1,116 bar nothing soldiers on the field before you is our drill sergeants. Every day for the past 10 weeks, our drill sergeants have trained and inspired to produce soldiers with the discipline, fitness, and lethality needed for the crucible of ground combat. Theirs is a tough and relentless mission, but one that must not fail. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause to honor the tireless work of our drill sergeants. Since 1973, the United States has relied only on volunteers to fill the military ranks. However, not everyone can serve. In fact, less than one in four of military age are physically, mentally, and moral, uh, morally eligible. Less than one in 10 are willing to serve. And ultimately, only one in 100, that's 1%, 1 ever does. Ladies and gentlemen, standing on the field today is that 1%. The soldiers in front of you represent all of this great nation from sea to shining sea. 49 of the 50 states and three U.S. territories are represented. They come from big cities like New York, Los Angeles, or Chicago, and small towns like Winterset, Iowa, Port Gibson, Mississippi, and Spearfish, South Dakota. 27 countries and five continents are represented in this formation. Places like Brazil, Cameroon, Romania, the Philippines, Haiti, and the Marshall Islands. 67 of the bar nothing soldiers in front of you took the oath of citizenship yesterday and are now proud U.S. citizens. Of the 1,116 soldiers in front of you, the youngest is 17, the oldest is 43. <laughs> 246 have a parent who has served, and 90 are parents themselves. Twenty-four hold an associate's degree, 40 a bachelor's degree, and eight of them hold master's degrees. I know of one that holds an advanced degree in music and is joining the Army's Fife and Drum Corps at Fort Myer, Virginia. Another is originally from Senegal with a bachelor's and master's in business, but wants to use the Army to fulfill a lifelong dream of becoming an air traffic controller. All of the 1,116 in front of you raised their hands and volunteered. Some volunteered because of family tradition, some seeking challenges, some seeking a better life, some simply to be part of something larger than themselves. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter why they joined, what matters is that they did. The Army's historic motto is, this will defend. The this has been different assignments for the Army over its 248 year history. To fight for independence, to free and enslave people, to defeat fascism, push back communism, or counter terrorism. As we know, the world remains a dangerous place. And none of us knows what sort of challenges may await the soldiers on the field. But one thing we do know, that the Army will always defend the liberty of these United States. This is the sacred obligation of the American soldiers in front of you to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Their solemn pledge to the American people is that they will never falter, never quit, and never give up. Finally, to the soldiers of 339, 
Ten weeks ago, you arrived at Fort Jackson as individuals, but today you leave as members of the Army team. On behalf of the leaders and cadre of the Bar Nothing Battalion, congratulations. You You are American soldiers and proud members of our team. And whether you serve two years, 20 years, or 40 years, take pride in the uniform you wear and never forget your responsibility to maintain the trust of the American people whom you serve. Good luck to you all, and I look forward to seeing you out there. AAAO, strike strong. We make American soldiers and victory Today's soldier is, above all, a warrior, adaptive, confident, and confident. As a soldier, you are totally committed to the war of the coast, grounded in army values, and determined to destroy enemies of the United States of America and her allies. The United States Army Soldiers Creed embodies this commitment. To the soldiers on the field, the uniform you wear at this moment is more than an outward display of your vocational choice. Your uniform is a symbol of a nation and an unspokable assurance to all who see you that you are a willing and able protector of the freedoms fought so arduously for by all who have gone before and all those who will bravely come after. You have become what you set out to be, a soldier in the United States Army. The Soldier's Creed is your declaration of your unshakable commitment to the ideals this nation was founded upon and will continue to guarantee. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand as Private Shearhar presents a certificate of appreciation to the retiree and leads the soldiers standing before you through the reciting of the Soldier's Creed. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. As you are approached by the American flag, it is appropriate to rise and remain standing until it is passed to your right. Once the ceremony has concluded, family members of awardees may meet their soldiers under the canopy located to the left of the bleachers. All other family members and friends, please meet your soldier on the field once instructed by the narrator of their respective companies. The 39th Infantry Regiment was organized at Camp Syracuse, New York on 1 June 1917 by transfer of veteran troops from the 30th Infantry Regiment. 
In December, the 39th was assigned to the 4th Infantry Division and in the spring of 1918, sailed for France as part of the American Expeditionary Force in World War I. The regiment fought with such valor and distinction during this war that it earned its famous nickname, Fighting Falcons. During World War II, the regiment fought as part of the 9th Infantry Division. The Fighting Falcons of the 39th became the first unit of United States combat troops to set foot on foreign soil when they stormed the beaches of Algiers in November 1942. During fighting in Sicily, Italy, the regiment came under the command of the legendary Colonel Harry A. Patty Flint, who gave the regiment its AAAO bar nothing slogan. Anytime, anywhere, anything, bar nothing. The regiment took great pride in the AAAO slogan, displaying it on their helmets and vehicles, even in combat. When questioned about the soundness of the practice, Colonel Flint confidently declared, the enemy, enemy who sees our regiment in combat, if they live through the battle, will know to run the next time they see us coming. For its part in World Wars I, II, and the Vietnam conflict, the 39th Infantry Regiment possesses 21 battle streamers. Its decorations include four presidential unit citations, four French Croix de Guerre, two with palm and one with gilt star, and the Belgian four gear. Following reactivation and transfer to the Training and Doctrine Command, the 3rd Battalion, 39th Infantry Regiment, departed Fort Dix, New Jersey for Fort Jackson, South Carolina, arriving on 22 August 1990. The battalion is justifiably proud of its historic past and today continues to uphold these same high standards of excellence in basic combat training as it prepares young men and women for service to their nation. Anytime, anywhere, anything, bar nothing. Passing the reviewing stand is the commander of troops, Major Philip Turner, and the battalion staff. The 282nd Army Band is commanded by CW3 Kevin Pitt. The drum major is Staff Sergeant Graham Hutchison. Led by Senior Drill Sergeant Moises Garcia. 